Welcome to this Let's Talk Machines tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're considering how to use boundary conditions within the Solve panel. To set boundary conditions, click over to the Boundary Conditions tab. Within this tab, you can specify how each edge of a domain or face of a block will be treated when using the T-Rex and Isotropic Meshing tool. You can create new boundary conditions by clicking on the button labeled New. After doing so, you can give the boundary condition a unique name and select its type from the pull down menu in the adjacent column of the table. There are three unique boundary condition types to choose from. The wall boundary condition type advances anisotropic triangles or tetrahedra from selected edges or faces depending on whether you're using the T-Rex tool in its 2D or 3D mode respectively. The wall type boundary condition requires an additional input from the user which indicates the initial grid spacing to use when advancing anisotropic triangles or tetrahedra. You can enter this in the third column for this boundary condition entry. The second boundary condition type is a match boundary. When anisotropic triangles or tetrahedra are advanced from either domain edges or block faces, the grid spacing of adjacent boundaries can be updated with this grid spacing when setting this boundary condition in conjunction with enabling the push attributes option over on the T-Rex panel. Lastly, there is the adjacent grid boundary condition type. This boundary condition works somewhat similar to the wall boundary condition type, but instead of explicitly setting the initial grid spacing for the T-Rex tool to use, it determines this value from grid spacing of adjacent grid entities, such as edges of domains or faces of blocks, in order to march anisotropic triangles or tetrahedra, which ensures a smooth transition. After populating the table in the Boundary Conditions tab, you can select the relevant grid entities from the Display window or List panel and click on the checkbox labeled Set next to the Boundary Condition entry to apply this boundary condition to the selected grid entities. After setting all of the boundary conditions, you can select one of the boundary condition entries in the table and the domains or edges that have been applied to this boundary condition will be highlighted in the Display window. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.